Kilo 4, Papa Japan, mobile. QSL, I got you 5 9 in Tennessee. 59 in Tennessee. Thank you, 73. I'll tell you what you do today, go on this. Thank you. Yep. Just shows that it works. I got him. Well, I wasn't going to do it earlier, but I was like, ah, he's so clear. I'm going to try him. But yeah, I'll put that in with that other video part and show you. Uh, so yeah, antenna's working on the truck. Of course, I ain't exactly mobile. Uh, I'm in a mobile. They just respond to mobile a lot better. <laughs> and technically, I'm on a portable ish. So not really lying. <laughs> but y'all have a good one. Hey everybody, PJ here. I'm sure y'all probably getting tired of seeing these videos, but made me another coil antenna to go on the back of the truck. I made the uh, mag mount bigger this morning out of a nice eight piece, eight inch piece of steel, and then three magnets. Uh, this one is two inches round. This is the old one. I took the uh, weed eater line off. You see how much taller it was before. This one's bigger around, so 40 meters on this one, 40 meters is right there. Almost the last bit of wire I got. This one looks rough because I put some glue on it. Uh, this one works. Works really good. Uh, this one, if you can hear, that's 10 meters. It's working. I made contact with France and Italy, but I did something different with this one. See, this one I had tap points on it where I was just tapping it here, tap it there, and I soldered them on so they didn't move. Made it hard to adjust though, because uh, I can't just move them. And I can go from the top of my truck to the bed of my truck and I have all these marks on here. Uh, they're hard to see, but that's 40 meters right there. You can see how much higher up on the from the bottom 40 meters was just going to this bigger round coil uh, quite a bit. Same whip, but that's how much higher uh, it is. But now that's, that's 40 meters on the top of my truck. 40 meters. Let's see, where's that? I got it marked. I think it's on the other side. Let me go around here. Yeah, it's right here. That's how far 40 meters, see that violet? That's how far that 40 meters goes around the coal when I put it in the truck. Same with all of them. I'm on 10 meters now on right here. But this is 10 meters. One, one coal up all the way around on the other side on the top of my truck. The bed of my truck, all this metal around it changes things. But, uh, so I got the shunt on there, made a shunt for it, the, the slide collar. This is the biggest thing. That's what I was going to talk about. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I got up five o'clock this morning. I'm a little <laughs> ditchy today. Uh, but see those I could tap. What I got here, this is on 10 meters. I can just turn this. And what I have here is a wire going to a copper plate inside that copper plate is a ball bearing right there drilled through to here so that pushes that ball bearing up against the copper so that way i can just easily slide it up and down and then when i get there i can fine tune it just by doing it like that of course i just took it off of 10 meters so now what I got to do is look around here. I got it. I'm going to change this a little bit and give me like a little V right here or something. But right there, you can see that. Sorry, that little mark. Now I'm back on 10 meters. That's it. This is 10 meters. That company, she's not going to say. I'll be back. Sorry, company was leaving. Anyway, I was in the 
behind you. Good day. <laughs> on the top of the lake there. Yeah, we got to go, man. Yeah, oh, let's see. Let's go up on top of them and see how bad this is off. I'm going to turn the tuner off just to see. AK-4 PJ testing. AK-4 PJ testing. Under a 1.5, so it's about a 1.2, 1.3. Uh, if I turn this on, the tuner. AK-4 PJ testing. That's the SWR on it. I ain't gonna call out on these. These guys have been talking for a while. There were some distance stations on here. This is just 10 meters. I won't go through all of them. I got all of them tapped. Not all of them, but I have uh, 10 meters, 15 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. Uh, I tried to make that coil uh, to get 80 meters, and you should have seen it. It was double that height. It was. Uh, two foot is what I made the thing so and I still didn't get 80 meters 80 meters was at the very bottom and I could only get like the top 75 meter portion of it and it wasn't even that great so I was like I'm just going 10 through 40 and that's what I come up with and I like the smaller I want compact this actually I can take this off take the whip off and this will actually fit inside my go box uh, of course, you know, the base and everything won't, but, uh, actually, to be honest, I hadn't tried it well. I don't think it will, but anyway, but I like that because, see, I can put it in the back of my truck. Of course, my bed's down. I got to change my leaf spring, so don't be paying no attention to that, but there you go. So you can't hardly see it, but, and the same on the other truck. But that's it. Like I say, I can just spin that. I can move it up and down. It makes tuning it a lot easier. I just got to make it where I can easily go back to. Because like me having to crawl up there, that little mark is eventually going to disappear. And so that other one, so I'm going to have to paint it and make me a notch or something. Do it just a little different on the marking, but I do like the collar. And that's just a, uh, it's a two inch pipe. This is a two inch coupler that I just cut in half. And then I cut a cut here and then it just slides right down over it. Uh, this just holds it together a little bit. I've got it loose so that it actually moves in and out just a little. Uh, probably don't even need this copper here, but I had it. So this helps tighten it up just a little bit. And then this one here. The ball bearing makes very little contact on the copper. So if I can find my little barrel bearings, uh, I might end up changing that out, make the hole a little bigger so that it has that it gets just a little bit more uh, contact on the copper. It should still slide up and down and back and forth, but for some reason I can't find them. I got a bunch of them somewhere and I don't even know where they're at. But that's just rambling. Uh, and I went to 10 meters because 10 meters is open. Uh, been open all morning. A lot of DX in on here this morning. Yeah, yeah. I've got you about 272 I'm up at 290, so that's, that's good. Uh, as you, uh, I'm glad it's working anyway. It so, so sounds uh, conditions are good. I've got like an echo stroke of flutter with you. Uh, so it's, uh, conditions are improving anyway. Let me just tell you the information, Steve. When I came on last night, I started working away. I don't mean to interrupt them. He's super clear, but... I'd say I could get him, but he keeps talking to that one guy, so we're having a good key, so. I don't hear 10 meters open up quite this month. Hi, Jim. 
I'm using a Kenwood, uh, sorry, the ICOM, the Kenwood stock. You can tell they're all DX there. I'm using, I'm using the ICOM 7600, 300 watts of an ICOM 2000 day amplifier. The antenna and they're all running the power. <laughs> I've heard them all morning talking about their amplifiers. But that's it. It's really easy to make. You got to have an analyzer though to actually tune it because I mean there's going to be different tune points depending on where you put this thing, what kind of ground you have. Uh, like this isn't the most ideal ground. If I take this and put it on the rod out in the yard, uh, I actually can get a one to one on most of them. Uh, in the truck, I kind of just take the best SWR I have. That's why I got the tuner in there because. Uh, with all this metal around it and it's you know going mobile it's a lot different beast but uh, anyway so you got to have an analyzer to actually test it and i mean i guess you could go around and keep till you find it because you can listen to when the noise level comes up and when it goes down uh, that helps but it still might be off a little but anyway i'm just rambling but won't be too many more of these. I think this one right here, I'm going to be happy with this design. As long as this all holds up good and don't corrode, uh, uh, it'll be good. I can clean the coils with alcohol every once in a while, clean the ball bearings. I got a bunch of extras of those. Uh, same with the copper and all that stuff. So, uh, should last a while. Uh, the way I've got it, I mean, same way I made the other one. I mean, it's this one is... I'm not even sure how many how many coils that is. I'll say it's sixty something. I'd have to count them and redo it. I might do it and put it in the description because give the measurements because uh, I hadn't measured it. And an inch and a quarter and two inch pipe is a lot different as you can tell 40 meters all the way at the bottom of that one 40 meters is right here on this one so making it bigger around you're definitely gonna you know widen your uh, your bands a little It'll make it a little bit better but i'll quit rambling it's getting a long video y'all have a good one